And they're away. And it's a uh, circumspect start for all of them. They've seen people putting power down and interesting leaping through. Was, I think Madsen's leaped in straight into second place. So a great start by Jimmy Madsen, who found, who again, being British, is used to these low grip conditions. It's Madsen now who's, who's taking the challenge straight away with Duchette and, and not enjoying the conditions again is uh, Jared Metheski. He's dropping back. And into the, there goes Madsen. So suddenly Jimmy Madsen, oh, and they spun around the corner there. And that was a little come together. And it's Madsen who's come off worse at the end of the whole situation there. And Duchette's taken the whole thing. Wow, that was a, a big action there in the first corner. Now three cars before. I don't think Duchette's been called. I don't think he has. So Duchette takes the lead. Coming round again is Madsen who's still in second. It's Mateski who is dropped down to fourth, I think, now. Uh, and the three car of Kregevsky is right behind him. No, it's, no, it's, it's, it's Madsen's had the problem. Madsen's dropped right down. It is actually Mateski in second. Let's see what happened on that. It was going so well for Jimmy at the, at the start. He comes around and it's... Just in the bottom corner, and they just come together, and he spins him off. That was really bad luck indeed. He spun off at the end there on the Serpent Innovations replay. But it's Duchette now who's leading from uh, a recovering uh, Jeremy Theski. So we should be on the second and third, and indeed we are, because third place is Krogevsky. So it's France from Germany, from Germany and uh, Madsen's dropped down to seventh, after, which is disappointing because he made a great start. And now, as Duchette... Tries to concentrate on putting in line. The second and third battle may be his best chance to get away. Last time round, he was about a tenth of a second. Oh, a massive action with the two of them again. And this is really playing into the hands of Duchette as everyone else makes mistakes behind him. Again with a Serpent Innovations replay. And it is up the outside. And that, oh, that's a racing instant. Krafelski just got a bit of a better run. And as uh, Rathinski tried to get his racing line back again, they came together. But at the end of that, it means that the gain in that lap round was uh, about 1.7 seconds. So Duchette has a nice lead from Rathinski, who we're with, and Krafelski, who's behind him. And the lead is about three seconds. 2.7 seconds. And they're still claiming and shouting in the... Uh, I'm not quite sure why the referee always seems to talk over the woman who's talking about the two minutes down, three minutes to go. There's a bit of referee over chatting, I think, at the moment. But it is Duchette who leads in the white car, just out, just out of frame of this one. You'll probably see him he exiting the corner as they go into the infinity hairpin. But the battle here is between Jan Rathiski, the German, the pre-race favourite, and uh, Tom Krueveski, who won the final round of the day last night. And he's got a little, and they are so circumspect coming around that top corner. Lap time's 24-7. They're bound, crazy, beautiful up the inside there, but then he makes a mistake and crashes off. Oh, it was all going so well. Let's see what happened there again, because the, just he got the run, he got the drive, and it comes up, he's got the drive, but then he's in the wrong place, and they're both in the wrong place, actually, and off the side was smacked was uh, Krogevsky, but it means now that running away and in second on his own, so first and second are clearing away. So let's pick up our leader, Zach, who's just uh, coming round start finish now, the white car of Duchette. He has two minutes to go, three minutes down. Let's wait and see what comes there. But he has been helped massively by the battles behind him. He came off best after the, in, running around the uh, end of the first lap when the, uh, he came together with Jimmy Madsen, who's now still in the seventh place and mired down there despite doing some, uh, some good running. Uh, Jarrett says he now has some clear space to try and attack Duchette, but he is already three seconds behind him. And they come around another lap. That, 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 that was a 24-4 for Duchette, and it was a 24-23-9, oh, so a half-second game. So Rathiski now is getting the, the hammer down. It's dropped back to second place, Zach, just behind the white car. Rathiski, he's gained half a second in the last lap. He's got 1 minute 19 to go, and he needs to find, well, again, half a second to lap. Now, is Duchette closing down but with this is now he's just looked now he's in the open look at this this is really, really mastering the conditions finding the grip where it probably doesn't need 24 2 23 9 3 tenths he gained that he's going to get a bit more than that but it does show that when he's not being uh, attacked by other people, Rathiski still has a little bit of a run on this spectrum. Now, he's made his mind mistake. That's not going to help him coming off onto the main straight before he goes round the top sweeper. He's still running a reasonable speed with a minute left. Four down. It's going to take a mistake, I think, by uh, Duchette to give Rathiski a chance. That time round, 23-8. Great lap time. Best lap we've seen so far. And uh, Yeah, Rathiski, that was noticeably slower that time round. And then he takes two bites in the Infinity Hairpin. So interestingly, his sudden surge towards the stop has, has literally stopped as soon as it started. And uh, let's move forward to our leader again, Duchette, who's coming the white car, just coming round and in. He is going to be looking very much now for one lap more off this one, perhaps one lap in a bit. 17 to go. This should be his last lap. He might get another one, but uh, Rathiski won't. So you're kind of saying that Duchette is looking like he's going to pick up a win. I shall try and talk to him, even though he's not the uh, most uh, 
uh, versed in the English. He got a bit of it, and he comes across oh. now, and he will finish the race, and that is going to be the win for Alexandre Duchette. So he takes the first leg of the Spec A final. Rathiski now will looking to come into second place, and he does. And third place will be. Don't walk off there, Wastrom. Pointing at him. He's just <laughs> going to run after him. 